Hi again everybody, thanks for popping in on the channel. Um, I'm here today with the Bose Surround Sound 700 speakers. A quick review on my opinion on what they're like. Um, I'm going to play a bit of music off of my YouTube channel that I know has not got the copyright police chasing me around, which they seem to do all the time. Uh, and if anybody can help me out with where you can get genuine copyright free, because I have Googled it, found some, put it on another video and uh, the copyright police come after me, so I don't really get it. Anyway... Uh, without any more wittering on, I'm just going to get my torch ready because where the speakers are, um, it could be a bit dark, uh, and I want to be you be able to see them. So, without further ado, as they keep saying, here they are. So that's the Bose 700 surround sound speaker. Lovely finish on it. The Bose logo. It's got drilled holes all the way around the centre section of it. I hope you can see that on there. It's got my mucky fingerprints all over it as well. Um, also on the top, it's got the glass finish, and the same as the um, Soundbar 700 and the 700 Sub. Um, <clears throat> I've got mine just on either side of the couch, and they're very lively actually. Um, a lot more lively than the 300s. Obviously, if you're looking for extra bass from these, you're not going to get that. You're just going to get, you know, all the special little sound effects and things that the um producers of these films want you to hear which is pretty fantastic to be honest you know you can hear it flicking about between the tv uh, and the speakers all the time uh so there's if just for anybody who's forgotten there's the 700 soundbar which is fantastic and over the back you can see we've got the the sub there nestled down there so what i'm going to do is play a bit of this i'm going to put the phone sorry the gopro 7 um up near the speaker see if you can hear it i don't know if it'll you'll be able to appreciate it like that but that's the only thing i can do at the moment i'm afraid so i'm full of a cold what's new eh right okay here we go then Let's give a lovely all-round output of the uh, the speaker with them, the holes drilled right the way around it. A bit like the 500 home speaker, that's a similar thing. <coughs> like I say, I'm not sure if it's the best piece of music to demonstrate what I'm trying to get you to hear, but um, it's all I dare do at the minute. I don't really want to get me head chewed off again. Um, <coughs> people keep messaging me about the adapters. I've got some adapters for sale on um, YouTube that I had spare from me 300 surround sound speakers. Um, YouTube, eBay. Um, they won't fit these speakers. They will not fit these speakers. The adapters come with these stands, which are another 100 quid, and these speakers alone are for, between 450 and 500 pounds. So it's a big investment. I definitely think it's worth it. Um, I don't know if you got to see much of the stand there. Um, I need to get my little phone torch out again. I must get organised with something. Uh, like I say, about a metre tall. They've got a glass stand on the bottom. It's quite nice. Um, my rubbish in behind there is the two power supplies, obviously one on either side of the couch. They're exactly the same model and make um, as the ones for the 300. In fact, I wasn't going to change them, but I thought I'd better add. So I packed up the uh, everything for the 300s and sold them on eBay for a fair price. 
Um, if you're talking about response, um, audio response with these above the 300s, I'd say they're probably about 40% more lively, you know, crispy, lively, um, a bit more punchy. Definitely worth it, I think, to, to, to upgrade from the other ones to these. It's not a it's not a waste of money. These are a lot smaller. When you get them out of the box, you'll think, my God, these are never going to be any good. But they're proper weighty little things. Uh, on the end of the video, I'm going to try to leave a couple of photos just of um, the, the measurements of them. Don't really do all that measurement thing. But um, like I say, on these, um, you've got two screws on the back of the actual mount itself uh, which are holding that onto the top of the holding that onto the top of the stand um you probably see them there but the wires come up through the tube on this right up through the tube and connect onto the bottom of the mount so unlike the 300s where they connect on the back um these don't they connect underneath and there's a small hole through the mount that screws onto a little plate inside the top of the pole so don't be thinking you're going to be able to get the other stand, the other um, adapters and make them fix. I don't think you will for a minute, to be honest. Um, so that's about it, really, for them. Like I say, lovely speakers, lovely crispy sound. Um, so I hope you like that little review. Anyway, like I say, keep keep tuned and uh, just so you're aware um, that I am a Bose freak. There's no doubt about that. We've now got three of the uh, the 500 uh, home speakers. I cannot recommend these highly enough in other rooms of the house. They're absolutely fantastic sound. The bass on them is ridiculous. It's so rich. In fact, the bass on most of these is turned down about se minus 70 because it's so bassy. And I bought another one for out here in the conservatory for in the summer. So we've got three of these in the house. There's one in the bedroom as well. So just so you know, I am bosified. So, anyway, I hope you like the little review. Sorry I was a bit rough around the edges, but that's just how I do it. I'm not much of an editor, so I'm going to attempt to get this onto uh, YouTube today. So hopefully you can have a look at it later on. Please subscribe, share, and uh, tell your mates about the, my videos. And I'll just keep putting them up as I want to get new things. Thanks very much, and all the best. Catch you again.